2016 Five Under 35 Awards. The initiative, now in its third year, recognizes those whose attitudes and actions are making Great Falls a better place to live for young adults and all generations. As journalists and a TV station, we want to be part of spurring conversation and finding solutions for community issues, one of those being attracting and retaining young professionals. After receiving around 90 nominations from you, the viewers, this year, we selected the final five, and tonight we share the inspirational story of our last honoree. 32 year old Ed Worrell experiences his hometown of Great Falls in a much different way now than when he was younger. The CMR graduate lost his eyesight in 2006 in a matter of just eight months due to diabetic retinopathy. Was kind of young and dumb and decided to stop taking care of my diabetes and it ended up in the hospital with a blood sugar well over 1200 because I stopped taking my medication and everything. And um, my mom actually found me in my room in the basement of the house. Um, when she came home for lunch, my, my heart had stopped and I was pretty much clinically dead. But um, they, they were able to, at benefits, they were able to revive me and get me going again. Ed would undergo a number of eye surgeries, his final one just a week after marrying his wife, Becky. The loss of vision meant a rebuilding of life in a new way. At the suggestion of others, he got involved with the Montana Association for the Blind Summer Program, where he will teach again this summer for the sixth time. The program is for newly blinded adults, and um, I was a student there for two years. Two years, learned some very needed skills on like how to use a, a white mobility cane, how to actually even use a computer, which kind of plays into what I do now. Um, but they, they gave me those skills to continue with what, basically get back to what I was doing and what I want to do with, with my life. His life of impact took off from there. Ed met Travis Stevenson during the program. Together, they started Over Here Consulting around two and a half years ago, a business that has changed their lives and the lives of many they work with. We do assistive technology training for the visually impaired in Montana, and we do all that. We do a lot of the tech support for um, blind and low vision services and um, the VA, Fort Harrison. He's using his passion to help others who are blind or visually impaired regain independence. The screen reader allows the somebody that's visually impaired to actually hear what's on the screen. It'll actually verbalize like the icons that somebody sees, it'll actually verbalize what those are. Among Ed's many areas of influence is his work with Fort Harrison's Visual Impairment Services team, Montana Blind and Low Vision Services, and the Montana Talking Book Library. He also is on the national beta test team for an app called Braille and Audio Reading Download Service. Ed's inspirational pay it forward attitude has enriched the lives of many in Great Falls and across the state. That's kind of what keeps me keeps me going is just that you might get to help that one person that that one little thing that you show them that maybe you take for granted makes their day and it makes their the rest of their day possible even. Ed Worrell, one of KRTV's five under 35. You can learn more about Over Here Consulting by finding the link to Ed's story on our website later tonight. Next week, KRTV is hosting an award celebration for all of this year's winners, including Ed, Jordan Husted, Katie Cunningham, Adi Tom Abby Thompson, and Miranda Murray. You can find all of our 2016 5 Under 35 winners stories 